First, I would like to thank 115 people who subscribe to my channel. I've noticed that some freelancers watch videos like this and are still not sure how to write high quality profile description. So I'm going to make a free mini guide, maybe in the form of a checklist, so you don't miss any step when writing your Upwork profile description with one condition. The channel must get to 200 subscribers. So share the channel with your friends and family who want to start freelance work on or an online business. I will add the link in the description of the videos. So I have a sister who decided to do freelancing on Upwork. So I decided to mentor her and get her from a beginner, complete beginner on Upwork to raising talent and hopefully top rated freelancer on Upwork. It's a big challenge, but with determination, a top rated badge will be obtained. So we asked her to sign up on Upwork and create a profile and then I'll review it in this video. And she's a beginner, so I'll point out the things that she did right and the things that she needs to improve. If you are a beginner too and you're not sure if your profile is good or not, watch this video, you'll learn how to improve your profile. So let's get started. By the way, this is a screenshot from her computer. She sent it to me, so now you open up work, you click get started, you take into this page and you can choose to join as a client or freelancer. Obviously, we're going to choose the freelancer in this case. And then you sign up with your details, name, surname, email address and create a password. Then you create your account. So to proceed, they send you a verification to be able to proceed. So check your email to get the verification. If you don't get it, you can press resend verification email. So that's what she did. So that's the email you get to verify it. The account is created. Click on get started. So they ask you a quick question first as they want to know your experience as a freelancer. Are you new or you've been freelancing for, for years? So you, you check which one you want. So she selected I've tried, but still might need tips. So they want to know your goal from freelancing. Is it to earn your main income or to make money on the side or to get experience so you, you find a full job? Or you, you can say, I don't have a goal yet. Here they give you the option if you want to find the job yourself or you want to package up your work for a client to buy. And the third one is for talent scout. It's definitely not for beginners. And this is when you are on the talent scout, Upwork will directly recruit you for a client. If they, your experience matches what the client is looking for. So the option is the first one, then you click next. So you, here you can either import from LinkedIn or upload your resume or fill out manually. And it takes roughly 15 minutes. That's what she's going to do. She's going to fill out the profile manually. Now, the first thing they ask you to do is to describe your expertise in your own words for a title. The title on your profile, that client will first thing that you, they will see. She's just wrote video editing. And if you watch my video about how to write good profile, you'll see that you have to be more specific here. Video editing is very broad and you have to specify what type of video editing you're doing. That's the first thing to improve. I'd say, let's say you can add YouTube video editing or Facebook ads and so on. The second thing, B of video should be capitalized, the E of editing should be capitalized. Now, if you have relevant work experience, they ask you to add it here. It is optional, you can skip that. You can tick nothing to add and keep going, and that's what she did. If you have any experience related to what you're offering, it's better to add it. If not, you can skip it, and then you, you can add it later on when you're optimizing your profile. Now here they ask you to add education. So they want to know the school, the degree, and the year and so on. So she added that. Now they ask you to specify your level and language, English. At this stage, they ask you to add your skill. Those skills or tags are very important to be found. They're keywords that you can be found if used correctly. So try to use many of them and the relevant ones only. So they give you some suggestions based on your title, what you've written in the title, so you can add, add them here. Again, you can go back and add more skills or remove some other skills when you optimize your profile later on. Next step, now you have to write a, a bio to tell the word about yourself. 
I've written an example profile description in one of my videos. I'll link that in the description box below. So go and check it. Here she wrote a, a short description and the first sentence, hi, I am. There's no need to repeat your name in the description. The client can see your name next to your profile photo. And no need for any repeated sentences like you see here, full-time freelance video editor. It's a waste of space. It doesn't add much to your description at all. I'm passionate and hardworking individual. Mm, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't write that. I'd like to do my best to make your product perfect and give you the necessary revision so that you are totally satisfied. That's okay. On the description part, clients want to know if you are the right person to do the job. Here are suggestions on what to write in the description. Explain the process or the steps you go through when you get hired and you want to start the job. Add the tools you use in your work and the format you deliver the end products. The example, a PDF or PNG files and so on. Add the general requirements on your end to complete the project. What do you need from the client before starting work? In the case of video editing, you need the raw footage, the voiceover, the stock footage. Obviously, the requirement will be more specific to each client, but you can discuss that when you get accepted to do the work. You could also add an estimated time you need to complete the job. Always give yourself plenty of time, of course. But I understand for some jobs it's not possible to estimate the time and sometimes it depends on the client requirements and the project's complexity. So just say you offer fast turnarounds and you can work efficiently and meet the deadline. She has 4,599 characters left. So she's underusing those this space. Now they ask you to add a category. Again, try to add the right category here and a subcategory. Now, now the hourly rate. You can determine how much you're charging per hour. You have the hourly rate and then they show you the Upwork service fee. And that's how much Upwork will take. And then the last one is how much they, they take. You left with this fee per hour. Then they will ask you to add your country, your address, a number. You add these details. And obviously you have, they have to be correct details. They will verify your identity at some point. Then you upload a photograph. And it has to be your own photograph. And the photograph has to comply with Upwork requirements. They say here, a close-up of your face. Um, show you clearly your face with no sunglasses and be clear and crisp and have a neutral background. Then you check, click check your profile. And the profile is created. Then you can submit your profile. You see here, because she skipped a few steps, her profile completeness is only 40%. You want to get it to 100%. So the next video will be optimizing this profile. And then I will work together with her to get her first client. If you want to watch the series of these videos, be sure to subscribe, like this video. Thank you. Thank you for watching.